Wait, what the fuck did Shane Dawson say about his cat? The things I've done to my poor animals, they will never love me. Mm. I've done terrible things. I used to... Oh, no. I don't know if you want to go there, Shane. What'd you do? <laughs> One time, I laid my cat down on her back. Are you going to get arrested for this? I don't... I don't know. No. Think about it. Hmm. I don't think so. Okay, go ahead. I didn't penetrate. <laughs> I laid the cat down on her back, I didn't and then I, I, I moved her little chicken legs, like you know, spread open or whatever. And I was like, if I just like hump, but like on her tummy, like that's not weird. Like whatever. And then I humped it, I humped it, I humped it, and I kept going, I kept going. And I came all over the cat. No, you did not. It was like my first sexual experience. No I was also way. like nineteen, <laughs> so it's like you know. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Did you just say you came on a cat? Guys, I think I have to put money in the meter. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, but you know who likes cats? I never did anything like that. Well, I never did anything crazy like that. Maybe that's dog. why you don't like pussy anymore. No, the clip Hell, was, like, but For those of you who don't know, that clip came from a podcast Shane did about nine years ago. Now you're probably asking, why is this resurfacing now? Well, this all started Sunday night when Joven Hill, someone you may recognize from my last video, tweeted out this. Shane Dawson humped his cat. Do not defend him in my fucking mentions again. He fucks cats and Googles child porn. Fuck you. Now, for those of you who don't know, Jovin Hill is a social media personality whose shtick is to make hundreds of controversial tweets a day about social media stars, hoping that one of them sticks so he can gain more Twitter followers, and then using that Twitter following to sell merch and ask for donations on his Patreon, PayPal, and Vimeo. So this tweet isn't out of the ordinary and is a dime a dozen on his account. Once Joven tweeted this out, people decided to try and look for the clip. And it ended up being found and posted by Magician Dragon who says, I found the audio. Shane Dawson came on his cat. What the fuck? This was on his podcast. Then follows it up by saying, I am shaking right now. I'm so disgusted and disappointed. I thought it was just a rumor, but... It's on Google Play Music if anyone's interested in finding it yourself. Once this clip started to circulate, Keemstar caught wind of its existence and tweeted out, Shane Dawson is trending for rumors about him doing nasty things to his cat? I'm about to call you Shane Dawson. What the fuck is this? No answer. What is this even about? I can't find anything but people tweeting, I can't believe he did this to his cat. Of course, Keemstar later finds the clip, contacts Shane Dawson about it, and then he ends up making these series of tweets. I didn't fuck my cat. I didn't come on my cat. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my cat. I've never done anything weird with my cats. I promised myself I wasn't going to make apology videos after last year's thing, so I'm just trying to be as short and honest with this as possible. I've apologized many times for all the dumb shit I've said in videos and podcasts over the years. I've learned my lesson over and over again, and I'm more confident now in my ability to be entertaining by just being myself and not being so shocking for laughs. That story was fake and based off a dumb awful sketch idea I had years ago that I never made. Thank God. And when the opportunity came up for a funny moment in the podcast, I told it as if it was a real story, which was disgusting and very, very dumb. My goal with the podcast and my videos years ago was to tell shocking stories that would make people laugh and scream, OMG, you didn't, and think I was so crazy. It's embarrassing, and I fucking hate myself for it. Now that I'm making stuff I love, and I'm being myself, it feels so much better, and I finally feel like I'm putting stuff into the world that means something. I'm not saying I hate everything I've made over the years. There's so many things I'm proud of, but all of my offensive jokes, over-the-top stories, and insensitive jokes are something that still haunt me, and something I have to be faced with every day on the internet, and it never gets easier. I'm sorry for what I said about my cat. I'm sorry for what I said about anything or anyone that was offensive. And I'm sorry for being someone who thought being super offensive and shocking all the time was funny. I'm sorry for my past, but I'm really to make it right. Think he meant I'm ready to make it right. And I feel like without my past, I wouldn't be who I am today. And I wouldn't be able to grow and spend my energy on things that actually mean something. This has been the best two years of my life. And it's because I've been able to drop the act and be myself. And I'm sorry for not doing it sooner. Damn, that was a pretty in-depth and lengthy apology. Luckily, it didn't take long for Shane's cat to actually speak out and tell us what he thought about this apology. So that's it then! You get a little bit of shit on the internet for sharing a relationship that's a little bit peculiar and all of a sudden I don't exist. All them times I rubbed up against your legs when you were feeling sad. All them times I let you do those things to me because you told me I could have tuna for dinner. And this is how you repay me? Oh, you better find another place to come, Shane Dawson, because this kitty is closed for business. Oh, and by the way, this isn't Shane's cat. <laughs> Got you, idiots. Holy shit! I don't know about you guys, but I was fooled all the way through. Holy shit, what a reveal. I didn't fuck my cat. I didn't come on my cat. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my cat. Abraham Lincoln during the Gettysburg Address. Shane Dawson raped a cat. Shane Dawson raped a cat.
Shane Dawson raped a cat. Shane Dawson raped a cat. Shane Dawson raped a cat. Shane Dawson raped a cat. Shane Dawson raped a cat. Shane Dawson. Here's a tweet from Shane Dawson saying, New second channel vid. Sex with my cat. Retweet? Inabber tweets out, I didn't kiss James Marriott. I didn't smooch James. I didn't put my lips anywhere near James. I've never done anything weird with James. I've never. Oh my god. I've never done anything weird with James. I promised myself I wasn't going to make apology videos after last year's thing, so I'm trying to be as short and honest with this as possible. I never fucked my cat. <laughs> Black Wolf Company says, Breaking. Shane Dawson performs interspecies intercourse with feline. Oh yeah, that's what a guilty person would say. Hashtag meow too. <laughs> Justin Wang tweets out this photo of, um, a cat covered in nuts. Justin Wang also says, I really wish that Shane Dawson was the president right now and was giving this speech from the Oval Office. Just the complete serious tone of that Shane Dawson apology while talking about coming on a cat is a... It's definitely something to behold. Now this tweet didn't get a lot of likes, but I thought it was pretty funny, so I'm gonna say it anyways. Heard Shane Dawson likes pussy. I thought he was in a gay relationship. Okay, maybe it wasn't that good. I guess I'll just throw out a pedo accusation instead. We have a video tweet here by Dull Hunty that says, Is this a Shane Dawson video everyone's talking about? Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, you're probably thinking, Shane, why did you just wave at us with one hand? Usually you wave at us with both. It's because my other hand has a cat in it. <laughs> he is trying to get away from me as fast as he can. He's screaming. He loves me. That's I love you and cat. <laughs> The needle drop responds to Shane's apology by saying, Yeah, but you fucked your dog, right? <laughs> Andy Warski responds to it by saying, Come on, man, live a little. When Kavos finds out about this, he tweets out, Shane Dawson came on his cat. But why? Keemstar tweets out, Shane Dawson fans are nutty as fuck. Shane's trending worldwide for nutting on his cat. I have to inquire about this. It's my job. The audio from the podcast is Shane telling a story with no punchline. It's not a clear joke like Shane fans are acting. Stop giving me shit. Fuck off, Keem. He's made a whole ass statement. If you can't understand a joke, grow the fuck up. Wait, I need to grow up? In the debate on whether or not Shane Dawson busted a nut on his cat or if it was an exaggerated, edgy, detailed story with no punchline? Shut up, Keem. You're only famous because of drama happening, and you like to stick your nose into without research. Shane made a joke. People are so sensitive now. I was famous before I ever started Drama Alert. Honestly, I was not even going to cover the story of Shane and the cat on Drama Alert. But since all these Shane stabs are attacking me, I'm going to do 10 videos in a row on it. If you think you're mad now, wait until tomorrow. And I'm going to be 1000% biased in favor of the cat. There's nothing you can do about it now. You messed up. Breaking. Shane Dawson lawyer comes out with a statement. Hashtag Drama Alert. Shane has apologized for his past actions several times. I'm really sick of people bringing up his old content and trying to make it like new tea. That shit is so cold Antarctica is quaking. I don't think people understand how the internet was back then. People really loved cats. I mean, really loved them. Nobody? Shane Dawson's cat? Shane Dawson's cat tomorrow on Good Morning America. Crimson Studios just says, Shane Dawson, thanks for the input, man. Green Bean showing the asexual Shane Dawson mood board. I didn't fuck, I didn't come. Didn't put my dick anywhere. Shane Dawson's pets when he walks in the room. Here's another amazing tweet from Shane Dawson. My cat is staring at me with the angriest face. I think I pissed her off last night. I don't remember what I did. Did Shane Dawson nut on his cat, or was it a joke? Chuck E. Cheese seeing Shane Dawson trending after he exposed him. Onision tweets out, Shane fan. Shane would never do that to a cat. He's innocent. Me. Would you let him sleep in the same room as your cat for a night? Shane Dawson fan. Then Pimp Master Yoda replies with this. If you think 10 year old edgy jokes are real, then here's some real talk for you. So, Onision, believe you do that 10-year-old jokes actually a foundation they have in reality. Well, here's some reality for you. If ever.
never had children. I did. Never be allowed to be in the same room with you. <laughs> Shane Dawson makes an edgy joke 10 years ago. Twitter users 10 years later. Yeah, it's rewind time. Adam22 tweets out, I too would like to make it clear I never had sex with my cat. No one. Shane Dawson. <laughs> Shane Dawson's cat when it sees PETA arrive at the front door. <laughs> Sky Williams coming into this a bit late, tweeting out, Uh, can someone fill me in on why Shane Dawson is trending? No new conspiracy video, and he's alive, so what happened? Leon Lush responds with, I didn't fuck my cat. I didn't come on my cat. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my cat. Oh, <laughs> I just found out why Shane is trending. I don't think you came on your cat. But also, that was the worst joke delivery and structure I've ever witnessed, laughing out loud. So maybe you shouldn't be cancelled. But you should be on probation for like, eight months for that felony you called a joke, laughing my ass off. Might not be your fault though. It's common for gays to be in the closet until they're ready. We'd hear our straight classmates talk about pussy all the time. I guess there had to be at least one closeted semen demon that took that shit literally, laughing out loud. Don't kill me. See ya. One of Shane's personal friends tweets out, About Shane Dawson trending today. A wise woman once said, I embrace mistakes. They make you who you are. And damn if that ain't deeply, deeply true for all of us. As someone who knows Shane intimately, I can tell you that that shock style comedy of Shane's past is the least interesting and least genuine side of him. And to see what he's grown into from what he used to be has been truly incredible. For so many, Shane, Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn, Kathy Griffin. A gasp equals a laugh. That's the formula. For reference to the style of humor, look at the 22 seasons of the still running South Park, where a bestiality joke is considered extremely timid. That particular story that Shane told was nothing more than an approach to shock style comedy, and nothing more than a tasteless joke. Shane is one of the most thoughtful, kind-hearted, empathetic guys I know, and the notion of him abusing or hurting another living creature is as implausible as your arms turning into laser-blasting diamond cannons, which for the record would be cool as hell, but impossible. So please be forgiving, realize that people change, and use your power to cancel and nullify those in the world who are doing truly evil things, not a good man who made bad jokes years ago. Ryland Adams responds to the controversy by saying, I wish that everyone would stop trying to cancel genuine people on Twitter. There's so many options when it comes to exposing the bad guys, and you've got the wrong one. If you really go searching for answers, you'll find that Shane's not only good, but one of the best. Boogie2988 tweets out, I did not fuck my cat. I did not come on my cat. YouTubers in 2019. The entire point of this humor that Shane Dawson was making is that you're supposed to be a part enough to understand that he doesn't actually mean it. Too bad we have clearly underestimated people's intelligence on this. Burn the internet to the ground. You do love mudslinging, Boogie. Can't you let one fox controversy pass without commenting on it? Not a chance. If someone is falsely accused, I'm going to talk about it and support them. Been there. Been accused of all kinds of outlandish bullshit that people believe. Not gonna let people I respect suffer that alone. Okay, so honest thoughts on the Shane Dawson clip after listening to it. As far as jokes go, it's bad really bad. Has no punchline. The only joke is how implausible the scenario is, and how shocking it would be if true. I have made jokes using that structure though, and it fell flat too. They thought I was bullying a kid on Apex. They thought I wanted to mutilate a woman because of one of these jokes. It's a really bad structure to begin with, and in 2019, it's a non-starter. I get that, so does Shane. So if you are mad at Shane for making shitty joke, I disagree, but I get it. Feel free, it's personal preference. But if you really think he's out there fucking some cats, you are wrong. And maybe you should stop taking shit so serious. Thanks. Hot take. Cancel culture is bullshit. You people are idiots. Save your outrage for shit that actually matters. Not jokes. Not clips taken out of context. Not far reaches of logic. But the real in-your-face monsters who fuck you over and don't give a shit about you. Someone replies to that last tweet Boogie made by saying, You mean people like you? To which Boogie responds with, Sure, I've made real mistakes. My comments on H3, my comments on the Ralph retort. Get mad about those. They were legit fuck-ups. I would rather you went after remorseless people who don't try to fix their shit, but I am a far better target than Shane. Leave Shane alone. And to finish off the Shane Dawson support tweets, we have Tana Mongoose saying, I love you Shane Dawson. 
like family. I know where your heart's at and what you would and wouldn't do. Seeing how much you've grown from your past is the biggest inspiration to me. Here's to every six months when they want to cancel you for jokes you've apologized for and grown from. Life is all about growth. Are you the same as you were four years ago? These people you idolize and put on pedestals are just as human as you. Imagine if every bad thing you've done was aired to the world to be judged. Okay, that's enough seriousness for one day. Let's get back to the memes. Rain says, I heard you have a cat chain, Dawson. Wooly one tweets out, Let's us- <laughs> Let's us forget the OG cat fucker. Showing some 2017 tweets from iDubs where he responds to Garfield by saying, I will fucking rape you. Justin Wang then replies to that with a screenshot of another Ian tweet. Can y'all tweet at Garfield to tell us to unblock me? I can't even remember why I was blocked. Goku Noru then responds to that by saying, you're a godsend for this, which this tweet isn't something I would normally showcase, but I just want to showcase one Goku Noru tweet because he is funny as fuck and he doesn't tweet enough. So Goku Noru, if you're watching this, this is my public intervention. Please tweet more. You're going to be a girl. Bruh, we're on Shane Dawson's cat. <laughs> Detective Deckard says, I want to see a six-part documentary on this cat. Investigated further into Shane Dawson's cat gate. Turns out it was Keem who advertised Shane to spunk on his cat, because to quote Keem, your pet will live longer. Idub tweets out, Anyone have a pet squirrel that's near the Ventura area? Only half today, not looking to come on it. Ethan then responds to this by saying, I don't have a squirrel, but I have a cat. But it doesn't like you'd have any use for that. Mumkey Jones tweets out, I did not fuck my goat. I did not come on my goat. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my goat. I've never done anything weird with my goats. I promised myself I wasn't going to make apology videos after last year's thing. So I'm just trying to be as short and honest with this as possible. Okay, I'm lying. I fucked the goat. Doplex tweets out, The People vs. Shane Dawson. Wavy Web Surf makes a tweet saying, Shane's cat video leaked. He's literally cleaning his cum off. Ew, oh, that's really? so gross. I think so. I didn't, I've never seen a cat thing before. That was so gross. I want to freak out. <laughs> wow. Snapchat saw it first. Oh, gross, gross. <laughs> Tipster says, ain't nothing wrong with coming on pussy. Well, as long as it's not that Shane Dawson shit, that is. Critical of the official podcast and Moist Meter tweets out, I did fuck. I did come. I did put my dick anywhere. I've never done anything weird. Shane Dawson's cat pulling up with his lawyers. KSI says, Imagine having to tweet that you didn't come on a cat in 2019. Comedy Central says, Don't worry, Shane Dawson will land on his feet. Just like a cum-soaked cat. And then our final tweet for today, After sex selfies be lit. That was definitely one of the most fun I've had looking at Twitter for a long time. That whole controversy was just so hilarious and I hope you guys found it fun too. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe because more videos like this are on the way. The growth on this channel has been absolutely insane over the past few days and I just want to thank you personally for this because, I don't know, I, I never expected it. It's just amazing. I've been overjoyed for the past few days. We are almost at 14,000 subscribers. Also, this outro you're about to see was made by SoSino. He makes legitimately great content so I highly recommend you check out his channel. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch because I'm going to be doing more streams on there soon. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh,